Welcome to the Potential Difference Regen X Generator and Regen X Motor video series. In this video, we're going to be introducing the Regen X Quantum Motor and the Regen X Generator and explaining how these innovations differ from existing motor and generator technologies. So what we have set up on the table here is a conventional DC motor. Uh, it's a direct current uh, motor and uh, connected to this motor is another direct current machine which operates as a motor and it also has the ability to operate as a generator. Now uh, the Regen X motor that we're demonstrating today is right here and we're using this motor in order to drive the Regen X motor and the Regen X generator. So, what we're going to be demonstrating is that we are in our Regen X motor innovation has the ability, this motor has the ability to accelerate this motor without any electric input power. So this motor here is receiving this motor here is a universal motor so it runs on AC and DC. It's currently receiving 9 watts and this motor is driving the other motor. If we want to accelerate the system, we need to add additional input power. To our drive motor. And you can see the increase, the power increase on the power analyzer. Now what you can't do with a conventional motor is you cannot accelerate the system. You cannot accelerate this motor without increasing the input power consumption. And what you certainly can't do with conventional technology is use this motor, which has no input, use this motor to accelerate this motor while decreasing the consumption of this motor. And that's exactly what we're going to show with the Regen X motor. The Regen X motor is going to accelerate the drive motor while reducing the power consumption of the drive motor, but the Regen X motor is not receiving any electric input power when it's performing its work accelerating the original drive motor. Now, this machine, this direct current machine, also has a generator function. So it can operate simultaneously, or it can operate also as a generator. Now, 
when this machine is operating as a generator, it also does not have the ability to accelerate the, this motor, which we, we will call the prime mover. The generator does not have the ability to accelerate the prime mover when the generator is generating electric output power. And so what we're going to demonstrate with the RegenX generator is that the RegenX generator does have the ability to accelerate the prime mover to reduce the power consumption of the prime mover while generating electric output power. And the more power that's generated from the RegenX generator, the, the faster the speed of the prime, prime mover will be, the more the speed of the prime mover will be increased, and the, the less input power is re going to be required by the prime mover. So this is our this is our input power to the prime mover. And these are our switches which establish motor mode on this side and generator mode on the other side. In motor, RegenX motor mode, we will be increasing the speed of the system with no electric input power being delivered to the motor coils that are in the back there. And in generator mode, we will generate approximately 120 watts to our battery and we will reduce the power consumption of our prime mover by 33 watts. Now, any conventional generator that's on the market today, if the generator delivers 120 watts to the load, the, the energy supplied to the prime mover must increase by a minimum of 120 mechanical watts. And yet, what we're going to demonstrate with the RegenX generator is when the RegenX generator is delivering power to the battery, it does not require any additional mechanical input power supplied by the prime mover. In fact, the generator reduces the power consumption in the prime mover. So here we can monitor uh, in generator mode the output from the generator to the battery and this is our input to the prime mover and I'll, once we're up and running I'll scoot over here and we can look at the RPM differences. So once again the RegenX motor accelerates the system without requiring any externally supplied uh, electric power. And the RegenX generator also accelerates the system while generating electricity, while uh, not requiring any additional um, mechanical power supplied to the generator by the prime mover.
Genex motor allows the speed of the system to be increased without requiring any any externally supplied electric input power. So now we're going to engage the Regenx generator. supply about 120 watts to the battery and we will increase the speed of the system and we will not require any additional power to be supplied to the generator from the prime mover. again and I'll put the regen X generator on load RPM while generating approximately 120 watts for the battery. motor demonstration our idle speed was about 3310 rpm we increased the speed of our system to 3475 rpm the speed increase was 165 rpm and the power consumption in order to to increase the speed of the system the motor power consumption in order to perform the work required to increase the speed of the system was zero watts so our regenx motor accelerated the drive motor with 
by 165 RPM while receiving zero electric input power and in fact the the consumption of our drive motor was reduced by about 220 watts. The Regen X generator operated at around 3300 RPM on no load as well. When it was placed on load, it increased the speed of the system. Like the Regen X motor, the speed of this, uh, the increase was less. The generator generated approximately 120 watts to the battery, and the prime mover, the power consumption by the prime mover on load while the generator was generating electric output power was 33 watts less than what was required in order to idle the system on no load. So uh, that's basically it. The Regen X motor performs mechanical work with zero electric uh, input watts required and the Regen X generator generates electricity with zero mechanical watts required by the generator. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and happy Easter. Cheers for now.